Hey everyone, I have a story to tell you and it has a lot to do with today as well as why Madison Clark is one of my favorite characters. During my editing of our Fear of the Walking Dead's top seven saddest moments, Bridget brought up one of her picks for the saddest moments on Fear of the Walking Dead and it was Daniel's backstory. She said something to the effect of we as people in this country, the United States, can't even fathom what he had to go through as a child growing up in a war-torn country doing the things that he had to do to survive and that brought up something that isn't often talked about on the show though i have brought it up on occasion and that's what my mother had to go through to get to this country ultimately but to escape syria as you may or may not know i am jewish but what you most likely don't know is that we were jewish in a country that was very persecutory to Jews and that's Syria. Both my mother's and my father's family lived in a world where siblings would be beaten just for being Jewish. Letters were redacted, phones were wiretapped just because of the A, suspicion that Jews were hidden spies to root out the government or trying to overthrow Syria or just for being Jewish. A very long story short, my mom, being the oldest of her siblings, took her youngest brother and the second youngest sister and escaped Syria in the middle of the night, bribing border guards and fled to Lebanon. At that point, they stayed there for a little while until they could get on the back of a meat truck in secret to board a Pan Am flight on the tarmac that took them to France, which then took them to Israel. And eventually, through a long series of dramas, made her way to the United States. Why am I talking to you about this? Well, it's to tell you how much I love and appreciate my own mother and how much of a hero I think she is. I used to always say Mr. Rogers was my biggest hero, but really the older that I've gotten, the more I understand <laughs> how much of a badass my own mother is. And along with her looking kind of like Madison Clark, not really, but sort of, I had an intimate understanding of what it was like for Madison to make the decisions that she had made. Definitely not saying that my mom made the same decisions, but what I am saying is that I know what it's like for someone to have to make those kinds of calls to do things they wouldn't normally do in order to survive. So I have a deep understanding of that character and why I'm sometimes able to give someone like her leeway. So all of this to say, Happy Mother's Day, Mom. You mean a lot to me, and I know I don't call you enough. I'm calling myself out to all our fans, <laughs> and maybe I'm a lot like my father in that I'm just trying to find my own way through this life, but ultimately I end up finding my way to family. But I'll never forget what you did to make it so that I had these choices. I love you, Mom.